Hello and welcome to chapter 2, part 2. In this part, we'll take a look at our maze level and we'll be adding meshes to hide our seams between our warm parts. So to do this, we're going to import another mesh. We're going to import our pillar mesh. Click open and we'll leave it as default settings. Now the pillar mesh will come with its own Lambert. We don't need that, we can delete that if we like. That's totally fine, because we already have one. And we'll be creating our own materials anyway. So with your pillar mesh, we're going to drag that in, and we're going to position that on the corner between these seams. So you just want to line these up. Make sure your grid is snapped to set the 10, so you can line it up perfectly. And we'll make sure it's sort of square on to the entire corner. So here it needs to be down a little bit more. There we go. And if I turn my snap on to 100, hopefully that will let me just easily snap it across to the corner, like so. And I want to do that to every single corner where there's a seam exposed. So every time it bends or it ends on the cap. And we'll put a pillar mesh in that in that void. So I'm going to select this, go along here, hold down shift and alt, and go across horizontally to everywhere that needs a seam covered. If you get a snap onto 100, this should be a lot quicker to do. Like so. I'm going to fast forward this part, but you carry on. When you're done, you should find a pillar mesh on every single end, hiding any of those gaps that we would have had between our meshes. Just go around and make sure that is the case. And if we want, we can push play and we can actually walk around our whole entire maze level and see how it looks from the player perspective. I think that's looking just fine. And that will do for this part. In the next part, we'll be creating materials to add some colour to our environment and then we'll work on adding more in decorative features. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.